Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we have one new ROM for OnePlus 3 and 3T device which is known as Havoc ROM and it's by team Xanax and Skull Shady. So without wasting any time let's dive inside the ROM. This will be the first look of the ROM. It comes pre-installed with Lean Launcher which have lots of customization options and there's a new look for quick setting tiles and notification panel. Going to settings showing you the software information about phone and here you can see android version 8.1 with a security patch of 5th april 2018 it comes with maddie's extended kernel which is an amazing kernel for good battery backup and amazing performance build date is 26th april and this rom also supports ota update if any update available you can check it out in the update section it also comes pre-installed with applications like oneplus camera google camera adaway audio FX, omni switch and spectrum application which helps in balancing the battery life and performance and this is again a stable room having lots of customization options and in settings panel you can find a new rounded search bar on this room you also get rounded corners on the complete screen talking about customizations this is again a highly customizable room with tons of customization options which can be found under havoc settings First of all, under display, I would like to show you, it comes along with font manager in which many pre-installed fonts are available. Advanced give you settings of ambient display which have option of always on display. And if you enable this, on the screen, you can see the time, date and notifications. Double tap to wake is working fine. Now moving inside Havoc settings. And here you can see tons of customization options related to status bar, quick settings, panel, interface, animation, notification, recents, lock screen, weather, events and many other stuff. Under status bar you can find few options like tap to sleep, smart pull down, brightness control which works fine if you use it on the status bar battery icon can be changed from here and you also get option of battery bar under quick settings you have brightness icon show brightness slider which can be found here under panels you can find option to change the opacity of power venue as you can see here if you decrease it the transparency level increases over here interface gives you option of system ui theme under which you can select from automatic light dark and black animations have options of android p animation style which can be found here under animations recents gives you option to change the icon pack immersive recents and you can also change recents layout as you can see here we have three options stock grid and android go and whenever you change recents layout the system ui restarts as i have selected android go and the system ui restarts once it restarts you can check out the recents panel you get many gestures available here like three finger gestures pie control app circle bar gesture anywhere screen on gestures and touch screen gestures you also get an option of advanced display in which you can enable smart pixel this will help you in getting a good battery life you also get enable screen stabilization options and if you are not aware about these settings then do not change any of these keep it disabled as you can see i have enabled it and when i move the device the screen also moves a little bit let me show you by changing it from here as you can see when i move my device the screen also moves under system it gives you options of system app removal advanced restart allow untrusted overlays show cpu info and at last you have miscellaneous under which you have options of screenshot editor wake up on plug pocket detection camera shutter sound can be disabled from here and launch music app on headset connection so guys these are the customization options if you want to use spectrum manager make sure you install magisk and now moving on to the benchmark results i have used geekbench application and n22 bench application under Geekbench application, single core scores 1719, wherein multi core scores 3914. Talking about N22 bench application, 
under this results are 1,48,900. Talking about battery life, as I've installed this room today, by tomorrow I'll update you guys about the battery life which I'm getting on this room. And I also played PUBG game for some time which worked fine, I did not see any kind of lags or heating issue. So guys this was about the room, now moving on to the installation process. To install this room, make sure you download all the files given in the description below. So these are the files which you need to download. One is the OS that is ROM file which is around 640 MB, Google app package and the firmware if you are using OnePlus 3 then use oneplus 3 firmware if you are using oneplus 3t then use oneplus 3t firmware once you have all this and i would recommend you guys to use blue spark twrp recovery which did not give me any kind of errors so once you are done with this boot your device to recovery once your device boots to recovery locate the files which you have downloaded so as you can see i have all the three files available Going back, go to wipe, advance, select everything from here excluding internal memory. Swipe to wipe. Once it is done, go back. First you need to install the firmware file. After you are done with this, install the ROM file followed by Google app package. And once both the things are flashed successfully, if you want to root, you can include magisk or else just reboot the system. And your device will take somewhere around 4 to 5 minutes to boot up. Once it boots up, you can complete the initial setup and you are good to go. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. If you find it useful, then hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel. See you guys in the next video.